How you guys doing, JLC family? Uh, definitely has been a while since I've been there, and uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've been in LA, and I just wanted to report back and share a word that has been in my heart this past week. I've been challenged with new obstacles, and you know, recently I've just been hit by the spirit of discouragement and just. Uh, lack of energy and it's just been kind of tough to to stay on that grind and stay productive and so I read the story of Joshua and it was pretty amazing how uh, you know the servant of Moses was now given the responsibilities of Moses because Moses was no longer able to uh, carry it on because of his death and the Lord just shows up to Joshua and was like hey you know you're the servant and you continue to serve Moses and uh, you know what he's about and you're qualified and so what he was uh, called to do it's now passed down to you and I was reading the story and just trying to imagine the responsibilities that he had I mean Moses had an amazing calling and then one day to have that fall upon your your shoulders I mean it's gotta be an overwhelming task and so I was reading through this it really just allowed me to to kind of see into myself and I want to share the strongest verse that really stuck out to me that really gave me hope and uh, new energy and so it's uh, Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 and the Lord says this is my command be strong and courageous do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go and as soon as I read that verse I just I realize that I'm not alone and the Lord is with me and so I just wanted to make sure and remind you guys that whenever you guys get discouraged just remember that the Lord is with you and when challenges are, are um, put on your path it's because the God has called you to go through those obstacles so you can learn um, this past week I've been watching the, the, the TV series Lost um, so now I'm recently catching up on all the old, old shows that I've missed out on but uh, the most recent episode it was talking about the moth and how before it, it comes out of the cocoon there's a, there's this physical struggle and nature has a way of basically putting you into a situation to build strength because if the moth leaves the cocoon too early the moth would be too weak to fly and could eventually die very early and so the moth is stuck in the cocoon so it can continue to fight and as it continues to develop strength once it's strong enough to break out of the cocoon it's not strong enough to you know live as a moth and I feel like oftentimes in our life we wonder why there's so many obstacles um, that come our way but the reality is I feel like God is preparing us uh, to get through these struggles to make us strong enough to do what we're truly called to do which is to serve God and so many people have different gifts and I feel like God is, you know, preparing us for those gifts in our lives. And so I really want to encourage you guys that anytime that you feel weak or discouraged or depressed or whatever it is, just know that God is working in your life right now. And soon enough, soon enough, you will be strong. And, and you know, once you're strong, you can do just about anything with God on your side. And so just want to uh, share that with you guys and uh, hope you have a great Sunday and a great following week. And I will see you guys soon. I love you guys a lot. And now back to offering. <laughs>